several years ago there was a, a bad knife crime near here and a young 17 year old lad called Michael Jonas was knifed to, get, knifed to death by six, uh, six uh, teenage attackers and I actually took the funeral, Michael's funeral here in the church here and we, we live in an area, Penn Janley, where there's a lot of uh, knife crime, very high incident of knife crime and in fact it was Daryl who came up to me one time and said, hey Matthew what about we set up a Christian boxing club and uh, I thought to myself well that sounds a little bit of a contradiction like how can you have a Christian boxing club but actually as I thought about it a little bit harder um, but what, one of the things that boxing does it gives discipline it gives focus and it gives self-confidence and direction to people um, and because we were going to set up a potentially a Christian boxing club, it would also have a, a God, Jesus focus to it as well. And so the reason why we set it up was because we wanted to do something relevant in our local patch, our local area, for you know, the London knife crime epidemic that, that you know, has been going on for some time. And we thought that this might be a way of reaching out to some of those people who were often getting into trouble and that sort of that sort of thing uh, by providing a good, healthy uh, and also with a bit of a God basis outlet, King's Boxing. Um, and so that's why we decided to, to set it up uh, in the very beginning. Well, when we first started out, we really had no funding at all. In fact, when the, when the King's Boxing first started, we didn't even have a pair of boxing gloves, can you believe that? No kit, nothing at all. And actually what the church did, the church funded it um, uh, in the beginning and still does mostly fund it, but we've also managed to get a grant which has been really helpful uh, as well. Uh, because boxing actually, it's quite expensive to run a boxing club. Twice a week, uh, the boxing coaches, in, in fact are all Christian coaches and helpers, uh, there's a cost there, there's a cost of the venue high up at Annie Town Hall, uh, the cost of boxing kit is quite expensive as well, so there are a lot of costs. Um, but um, God's been good, and actually we've, uh, you know, most of the time we've been been able to have enough funding for all that we need to do, and, and now we've got some money so we can begin to budget much further ahead, which is really helpful. But when we began we had nothing, literally not even a pair of boxing gloves. Uh, I'd been thinking about all the troubles that were going on in the local area with um, all the stabbings and so on and so forth, and. Uh, um, maybe my pastor mentioned earlier that he, you know, took a funeral of someone who, who died in the park at Betts Park and we just really, we had a, a good old chat about, you know, what we could do um, to, to help the, the young people of this area who are getting up to no good and um, yeah, we, we just um, prayed into it and then I, I come up with like doing a, a boxing, a boxing club, yeah. Uh, when I was like the age of like 17, 18, 19, maybe even 16, I was heavily involved in like knife crime. Um, I was always getting into fights, stabbing people. At the age of 19, uh, I eventually killed someone, um, which I do deeply regret, of course. And um, if I could turn back the clock, of course, I wouldn't have done that. So, yeah, being at that age, um, especially now for young people at that age, it, it, they're so vulnerable, it's so dangerous out there on the streets and people are carrying knives and all the time and stabbing each other. And I, I think boxing's a, a, a great way just to, um, to come away from all that. It's kind of like, you know, you learn, you learn how to handle your aggression in a positive way. Um, you don't, you know, stab someone in the back. You, you, you respect your opponent, you, you learn discipline, and uh, yeah, I think through through boxing, you you can learn a lot how to come away from that kind of violent, um, you know, street violent lifestyle. And but the reason really that I I felt called to to set it up was because I mean boxing's great, but for me it was Jesus who really changed my life. And I think for me, boxing is a great way to bring people who are going through those issues on the street to bring them in to kind of teach them discipline but at the same time the most important thing we do there is is talk about Jesus and you know he without him we've got nothing and it, it was really a drive really of how much Jesus has saved me out of I wanted to do something where people could have the opportunity to meet Jesus as well and to do that through the boxing is, is one way that we 
会他妈会。Because I go, I go there Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I'm always looking forward to going there and training. And what I like about it is sort of like a a family, a different family. You're meeting different people, and you're working with them, blood, sweat, and tears with them. So you you really get a bond with them. But before I, the church offered to do the boxing to me. Uh, I was overweight. I was just sitting on the couch doing nothing, just eating whatever I want, and I could every time I looked in the mirror, I didn't like what I see with the chubby belly and all of that. But doing the boxing for two and a half years now, and I've lost three stone in weight, and mentally I feel stronger as well. Like, you, know, you know, and I've been coaching on and off probably for. 30, 35 years. Um, and in terms of being, being a Christian coach, well, this is the first time I've done, done it. You know, I'm, I, 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 I came a Christian in 2011, I think. Had a bit of a wobble a few years ago, but, but came, back to, came back to faith. Um, yeah, and, and it's, it's, it's lovely to be involved with a boxing gym that, that, that not only, because boxing does save lives, yeah, it, it does save lives on the street, but we know that Jesus saves lives, and it's lovely to be, be involved with a gym that offers both, do you know yeah. what I mean? But I think boxing has always been a vehicle that helps disadvantage or, 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 or young adults and adults from a, from a disadvantaged background. You know, um, boxing gyms thrive in, in, in areas where, uh, from a work, working class background. Um, and the training, um, the camaraderie um, offers discipline, offers, you know, it offers achievement, whether it's you're just learning to skip or learning a combination or actually learning to, have, to prepare for a fight. You learn to overcome yourself. You learn to, to, to you know, to, 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 to deal with fear. Um, you learn to, you know, you learn to, that, that, you know, to, for control, self-control and discipline is massively important and I think that really, really helps. Boxing really, really has helped for a long time but I think it's really, really relevant in this day and age as well. Um. I heard the boxing. I heard of this boxing club through my friend. Um, it was during lockdown, so I thought it would be a fun thing to do to get out and get active, um, as I've been stuck inside the house for a while. Um, I'm also a Christian, and I heard that it was related to um, the church, the church running, and I thought oh, that would be good. As also, we haven't been able to go to church, so to be around a community felt nice. When I was younger in secondary school, um, I, I did feel the pressure quite a lot because obviously we're around that where they, you know, recruit young people and that to get in, into the gangs and stuff. Do you think boxing clubs like this help people and in what way? Definitely. Um, it helps them mentally, physically. Um, it gives them a community to go to and talk to. It's a safe environment, very active, physical. Yeah.